Good morning. Welcome to Ignite with me. <clears throat> so, oh, some overcast. Well, no, one direction there is. I think it's just, just good morning. It's about 7 4 here in Alabama. And I thought, wow, what a fantastic time to smoke this one off. So, um, as I said, this channel is. To connect people with people with good smokes because you know it's you know we live in such stressful times and you know, need to relax every now and again again this channel does not encourage any persons of under underage to be smoking when they know they shouldn't be or to be drinking this is for gentlemen of proper age who are interested in learning about cigars uh, here we're going to advertise there's some pretty good cigars. I have in mind to go and get a pretty good one today. Uh, out of the rare things, if I can try to do that. And so, um, we're going to see what happens today. Um, Victola has a rare case. A lot of them have, you know, these cigar companies have rare cases where they, they you know, have their, their finest stuff. And they keep this out. But you don't want to mingle like the, you know, the common stuff, like, you know, with, with, uh, right, you know, with the, the, the great stuff. You know, keep them separate, right? Okay. Not to look down on anybody, obviously, you know, for what they buy. Obviously, the channel does not do that. It's never about, you know, that kind of, like, we're not trying to pressure people to buy. The most expensive cigars that you can get, you know, just what you like. So, said so today, I have what I consider to be a very fantastic cigar. I've had these fairly regularly. This is an Avo uh, Ubisa. Okay, this is from Nicaragua. And look at that logo, by the way. That's that logo is kind of a Crimsonish kind of red there, um, kind of Alabama theme, yeah. But um, indeed, this is going to be uh, maybe a darker cigar if I had to guess. I've smoked it a lot of times. Because for some reason, I've smoked so many. I'm I'm one of those people that goes from cigar to cigar to cigar. I found myself coming back to this one. Though. I've never had to describe the taste. And, and I realized, you know, after talking with a buddy of mine, like, nobody really, you know, when they come in, a lot of people just don't necessarily know what they're looking for. Let's look together. That's what I said. And then I'm going to show you um, some some things that I got. I told everybody I would have a look inside the bat cave. The bat cave, of course, we slang for a place for guns and knives and stuff like that. We got two knives from an Alabama knife maker. Okay. Support the home team first, although that is not the only thing I support. I support good knives here at the end of the day in the store. And certainly all night uh, brands are welcome here. I'm a big knife guy. I used to be kind of a samurai swordsman kind of guy. Um, those, I always thought that they were pretty cool. Of course, you can't do real katanas, I don't think. I, I think that actually, interestingly enough, it's illegal to take an actual katana from Japan unless you're under some sort of circumstance or whatever like that. I don't know if, I don't know if you could be exempt from that. But real katanas, real Japanese katanas, they're not being taken out of Japan. They're considered national treasures. In fact, it's almost like you're le they're leasing them to you. When you, when you have them, and even the armors are considered national treasures to the time take them out, so please do not. Okay? Because the Japanese people will not like them. Yeah. Okay? I'm not very much. Just feel something. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, I got some kind of rough places right here. Sometimes that happens. I mean, it's more. Well, let's get to it. Let's start smoking this fella and see what he's about. As I said, I've never really thought about describing why I like it. 
you're describing it to you the best way I know how. Again, there's going to be people that know not only how to smoke cigars, but do it a lot longer than me. I can do it for about a year and a half, maybe roughly a year and a half or so. Uh, brand new, brand new. We're doing this together, truly, in the truest sense. We are discovering it together. And the goal is to get people to kind of try these fellas out. You know, how warm it's supposed to be there. It's supposed to be warming up all this week, but we'll see. It's been kind of cold here. February is kind of a cold time, first half. Then when we get stuck with it in March, you see it's somewhat warm. You know, like a to move towards spring and summer. Hopefully, we get pretty good weather here. As I said, this is not necessarily the best color. That's what it is. Knives that I'm about to show you. I'm going to show it off yet. I'm doing this. I think it's, I think the knives we have here are real beauties. I'm going to try it out here. See what everybody thinks. And I want to get that link to it in the description of this website. You get people connected with that guy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's the version. I'm going to start it up here. I figured out something. Uh, the other day, on some of these previous videos, I used Ronson lighter fluid on this. This is a Rocky Patel lighter. Okay? This is going to burn that very quickly. You need, uh, if you're going to buy, if you're going to be in cigars for a long time, I really encourage you to invest in a great cigar lighter. Okay? They have these. Uh, it's probably a good buy at Cutters. I haven't, again, I haven't been to Cutters in a long time. They just went by there. Um, and they have them at R&R. &R. R&R carries Rocky Patel. Um, which if, if you like this style lighter, this is a dark blue one. It's got some mix in it, okay? Um, then it's, you know, if you like that sort of lighter, I'm going to show it to you proper in just a second so that you can kind of get an idea for it. Okay. So, super good simple. I thought that might be the case, actually. See, what had happened, I can't get clear from it, 
The reason I can't is and this will happen sometimes if you use a single punch like I'm using, you might end up pushing the actual cap. Like part of the um, the cap being of course this um, some of the, the stuff that you're trying to take out of the cigar, you might actually end up pushing it in. And, and that's not what you want. That'll compound it and it'll make it harder to pull. Cigars are meant to be a very pleasant experience. There you go. Yeah. Don't blow right in my face. This taste let's see. It's not spicy. It's a very smooth smoke. Okay? It's gonna be smoother than probably actually I would say this smoke's very similar to a dab at all in terms of how smooth it is on the palate. Okay? I taste maybe something kind of leatherish. There's some slight spice notes to it. It's got some spice to it. Um, the Ecuador that I smoked yet last night, that one had some spice to it. That stuff will burn your lips. Uh, I, I don't really finish the whole cigar. Um, while I'm on camera, okay, but I, cause I like to, you know, smoking for me ended up being kind of a pastime, uh, a pastime to kind of get through the night sometimes. I come out here and smoke a cigar and you know, be with my thoughts. I'm a deep thinker, and so I like that time. I don't really want to sacrifice that time for YouTube. You know, so I'm very introverted, very solo kind of smoker, you know. Um, but indeed, this has this is a very good cigar. I don't want to describe the taste as earthy. This is an interesting one. I've never, like I said, I've never had to sit there and really describe something like that. It's not a bad cigar. It remains one of my favorites, actually. I have bought many a stick of those bombs, of the box that he's got from. I'm surprised more people don't buy them, to be honest. Um, the ash burns really good. It's very white. That means that it's going to burn a lot better. Uh, some of it, some cigars don't do that. Um, this one does, which I'm pleased to announce. It's going to be a very smooth smoke, it's very high quality smoke. Um, I don't think you're going to be disappointed in this one. Um, it is the Nicaraguan. It's a, a red label one. It has a kind of crimson label. And it's the AB. Kind of a spicy, more or less leathery kind of taste. This is going to be a very medium cigar. It's going to be medium, but you're going to detect a little bit of spice. And it's not a lot, but it'll, 
And some, as some cigars, I, I don't know that I described this, some cigars do have spice. Um, some of them are dipped in red pepper, and some of them are dipped in penis and different types of you know, whiskey and things like that. And um, that's something a lot of people, including myself, don't know which brands do that. I love a cigar that's dipped in red pepper. Personally, those are very good. I think I, I lean towards the. I think someone has told me LFD does that. They're a very good brand. Uh, LFDs are good. You know. Maybe a light earthy taste. What's curious to understand why you know why the cigar is kind of it's one thing to to understand what happened in the first but I don't know not how it's like what am I say it's it's like it's one thing to have to have like a very novice talent is another thing to have very advanced knowledge and understanding of these cigars. And I'm still learning that stuff too. I like this already about discussing this one, so you know, I'm like to some help too. But I don't think you're going to be disappointed in this cigar if you're not looking for something that's like a super hard hitting cigar, something right in the middle, you don't like a Connecticut because it's too light, you know, this is going to be good. It's incredibly light. I don't know that I would call this a full body cigar. I don't think I would. It's kind of interesting. But it means. You see it. Pick it up. Give it a try. I think it's a pretty good smoke myself. I've gotten enough of them. It's not very good at describing the taste. I try to describe it a little bit for you so you're not just going in blind. In the back or anything like that. Let's discuss. Uh, oh yeah, I was going to show you the, the lighter. I forgot. My apologies. With a dark blue lighter. It's got some mix in it. Such like that. Yeah, I like that. Picked that up at R and R Cigars. They have some. They change their stock all the time. So we're gonna have new stuff. Uh, they do now actually. Um, some new Rocky Patel lighters. I, I think that the Rocky Patel lighters personally are a good, a good buy. They have a lot of character to me. This what they represent a classy sort of lighter. And some may disagree, but some some will. Uh, some of them, you know, some people are for a very expensive lighter. Um, I do pipe lighters too. To Beery, I think it's like Beery, Beery, Beery. Or something. It's a Japanese brand, actually, which is surprisingly. I mean, it's not why I bought it, but you know, it was kind of interesting. I like their lighters a little bit, how they look. We'll look at some of those. Um, you know, we might even get into the pipe stuff eventually. But. So the knife I'm gonna, you know. I'm going to advertise today it's by J.D. Chapman. Okay. Ooh, get something up real quick. I'm going to show you this. It's kind of a burled handle there. Okay. This has some brass. It's going to be hard to see. But indeed, that's going to have some brass and some copper in it. And I love how these handles, these these handles are, they're micarta, I think, 
Yeah. And he's they're smooth. They they have kind of a copper lining right there. These spacers. This is an alt white that's very nice. It almost I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of. It reminds me of something very old, kind of. Um, but indeed, let me see if I can get you look at that. This is not made out of a standard stainless. It's made of something very, um, it's made of a higher grade stainless. It's like the AUB, I think. Check it out. We'll work together. And we gotta put the link in the description. Chapman made. Yeah, he uses CPM 154. I know these are the AEBL. These, that's what these are. Uh, CMP or CPM 154 or AEBL stainless, and they are heat treated by buck knives. Um, he uses Micarta G10 domestic and exotic wood, all wood is stabilized in house. My Chapman made. I think these are very handsome knives. I think he will too. This man, is my understanding, that he claims to have studied under legendary knife maker John Harbour. Um, and so I'm going to get you the link. To his website, and so you can check these out. But indeed, this this is a handsome little knife. I like it a lot. Um, the other one I have was, you know, and the sheets are very nice too. You know, this this is a real leather sheet, obviously. I mean, this this had some it almost kind of reminds you of something old west, kind of. Uh, it does. It reminds you of like a gun holster. Kind this one is truly a beauty. Like this one, I couldn't even drop it because it's so smooth. Um, that is a kind of a, a reddish sort of. I believe that's my part of it. And it kind of has a very sort of dark sort of red tint with the all white. Kind of reminds me of. Like the Crimson Tide football thing. Now, I'm not a football man by any means. I don't really like sports per se, whatever. But, um, but indeed, it's, it's kind of reminiscent of something that would revolve around Alabama. It's the spine of it, of course, as you see detail in there. These are being treated by Bob. I picked these up at a gun show. And I thought they were a solid pick. They feel really good in the hand. So, um, but yeah. It's like it's going to be a good day today. It's a little chilly because, you know, um, it's still very early, obviously. Um, you know, hoping that it'll warm up today and stay warm. Those the trees and have uh, some pear trees and those are starting to come out a little bit. They're starting to bloom. Or not blue, but yeah, the, the leaves are coming out. Um, and I'm trying to get those to look out within a, a fairly long. They're still, they're still young, but I'm hoping that it will work out. Maybe get some beehives going one day. We'll see what happens. But indeed. This is a 
fine smoke, like I said. I think you'll really be missing out if you don't try this. You know, and understand that, you know, my taste is not yours. I always like to remind people that. I feel like you have to appreciate this cigar in my hand. You know, and you're not shunning me when you say, yeah, it's not my cigar. Or, you know, some people are going to look at it and say, yeah, awful taste. It should be awful. And that's fine. But you got to realize, like, cigars, it's not about what you smoke. Really, it's, it's you know, enjoy it. Get what you want. Don't get something that you hate. Okay? That's, like, stupid. <laughs> and maybe cigars aren't for you. Maybe you try one of these and think, you know, try a few more, and maybe you think, hey, I'm not into this. And that's fine. And that's fine, too. This channel is not about hate or discrimination under any circumstance. This channel is about, you know, bringing people together, you know, and trying to get people to, to have conversations and such like that without like that good smokes. So but yeah. Alright. I hope everybody has a great day and be blessed.